Sunday. I am on the road grabbing some food because you know we love food. And I wanted to share something with you guys. I was thinking about different seasons, right? Y'all know I'm a seasonal girl and we do seasonal things out here, right? We honor our rhythm, we honor our flow, and we learn how we can set the tone in different seasons and recognize through the ebb and flow the powers that we have through through that. And I really just want to take a moment to acknowledge those seasons where you burn things down. You gotta burn things down like a flamethrower and you just burn things to the ground. Things that were no longer serving you. I mean, excuse me. Things, people, situations, all of it. Everything that was no longer serving you, you burn it down to the ground there are seasons where we have to do that and being able to surrender to what's being asked of you during those seasons and putting some some gas in your flamethrower or right that's what flamethrowers would take that liquid gas maybe i'm not sure i've never used a flamethrower before physically but i've used a flamethrower mentally spiritually emotionally to be able to set a blaze to those things that need to be purified because fire purifies as well that's definitely something that i think is a misconception that fire is not oh there it is i'm looking for this food spot and i decided not to use my gps because these roads are like a little maze but i just found it big ups to me see sometimes you just gotta let the trail let the flow take you where it's supposed to take you but Yes, set in flame. Setting flame to those things that you need to set flame to. And not being afraid to do it. Sometimes being afraid to do it. And doing it anyways. Choosing to do it anyway. Being afraid, but choosing to do it anyway. There's so much power that comes from that. And I would love to continue having the conversation with y'all. And please let me know what y'all think about that. About fire. And what it represents. Because... For those of y'all who, or those of us who have fire signs, fire, who is a fire sign, or even have fire signs within your chart, that's the natural element that you work from, the natural element that you use when you are feeling however you need, to, however you want to feel, when you're processing things, when you're going through things, when you're just existing. That's your natural go to element. I'm a water sign, so I have a pretty balanced chart. I have some fire in my chart a lot of fire I have water and a lot of other elements in my chart as well but I mostly operate through that water and then life brings the fire for me it really that's what drives my passion that's why I'm here that's what keeps me going it's the fuel that never stops fueling me and when I feel like it does when I feel like it needs to be replenished I lean onto my other elements to be able to find that revitalization i don't think i've ever been afraid of the flame itself i think that i have been afraid of what happens after you use your flamethrower after you set fire to things that need to you know go up in flames and the things that need to be purified and the things that need to be blessed right i think the aftermath of that having to see what happens in the midst of it or even aftermath of it the people who go into the fire and who don't come out yourself included it's definitely a eye-opening experience and humbling experience and it really does at least for me it really does invite me to be appreciative of the moments of being in the moment and all of the i'm gonna put y'all down here of being in the moment and also being appreciative of the people that come during those different time frames stages phases milestones it truly does and it allows me to really be present with the experience that the experiences that i'm having with people and then to also accept in the moment what it is that I am choosing to experience with folks and it's humbling to say the least and 
I don't think we talk about that power enough as women. We are such a vessel and a portal to transmute energy, emotions, which is energy and motion. Yeah? To woke, we get to woke. So we transmute our energy through our womb spaces. And one of the emotions that we don't acknowledge enough is the rage, is the 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 power in feeling those emotions that sometimes we feel like it can consume us if we're not being mindful of how we are transmuting it and where we're putting it and where it's going because it can and who's to say that in those moments of, of it consuming you that it's not it's not what you need in those moments only you can say that right so those seasons where we have to burn things down to the ground who knows maybe within time in the next season it'll be the season of you putting the smoke out being able to honor all of the fires that you have started all of the fires that you have ignited i think a lot of times too people see fire or and they hear burning like you think of burning bridges as like a as a bad thing and it can mean it can mean that it can mean something negative and you know duality with all of our words right there's words that you can use when you're discussing something in a great way and then there's words that you can use when you're discussing things in not so great ways so duality where there's light there can be darkness and where there's darkness there's light 